Hello guys and welcome back to Jack Makes Happy Hour, back in the studio for the first time in 2020. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Very weird. It's like futuristic and shit. I got here by hoverboard. I'd say it sounds weird, but it's taken us over two weeks to get here, so I'm yeah. used to 2020 <laughs> we, now. We are deep in January. I'm not used to 2020. I'm filling out loads of forms right in 2019. I don't oh, yeah. fill out any forms. <laughs> I was about to say, when do you ever write anything? <laughs> I just get Fiona to do it. I, I want to start with a musical go. number, because basically, on the way to the Christmas show, yeah. we planned a whole, like, we were all going to sing a line to a Christmas song. It was going to be lovely. Okay. But I was fucked, so I ruined that show. So, I, so you got a choice yeah. of two. Right. We're back. We're bigger than ever. Um, mainly just because I had free Christmas dinners, but we'll do we do do we do it's happy hour again. That's the only line I know from it, right? Uh, or do we do the boys are back in town? I like it's yeah. happy hour again because oh. boys are back in town is just obvious. But happy hour again, yeah. <laughs> and it is happy hour again. It's not obvious. That's, <laughs> that's a niche reference. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is. No one else but, has done it before because we are happy hour. Okay, but we are also the boys. We could do both. It's happy hour again. The boys are back in town. <laughs> happy hour again. Yeah. I don't like this That's musical it. number. We'll move on. Yeah. We'll move on. So we as, this, as this is a very special episode today, I thought we would... I've got an announcement, actually. Oh, okay. okay. We're doing a spin-off. Oh, yeah. Happy, <laughs> beautiful segue. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Happy Hour are uh, releasing a spin-off. I'm going to sit down with our friend Robbie Knox. Yeah. We're bringing Robbie Knox into the team, boys. Yeah. Just without me and Jordan. But you're still... no. You're as long still as I get to see team. him, that's all I care about. Is Robbie part of this show? Yes, he is. <laughs> so angry I, f- I feel like he's still <laughs> he's, he's here he's, he's always in, there in pre- in essence yeah and... in my heart <laughs> do you know what I mean? always always um, so yeah basically just to give the uh, the listeners the lowdown um, hun- we're, we're going to potentially try and get through 100 half an hour episodes Brilliant. to be released weekly life lessons where Robbie sits down we pick a topic out of a hat at random um, and, um, and he teaches me about them so first episode is going to be about friendship and how to make friends does it get harder when you get older I don't know. I'll find out from Robbie later on, and then maybe I can come back and let you boys know the uh, the the info when, <laughs> when <we're... laughs> you just give us a TLDR. Yeah. 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 That's the start of all the episodes. We now. can see if we can finally make some friends. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's quite. I think that will be the first podcast I actually listen to. Do you not? You don't listen back to this, do you? No, I, I, no. no, I don't either. I've, I was there. Yeah, well, exactly. I'm here yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I used to. Like, I used to get really excited and like listen back to it. And now and it's now just like, like we chat so much shit. We'll yeah. just let everyone else listen yeah. to it. I do do one weird thing. Whenever I go to post it on Instagram or something, I'll get the like screenshot up skip halfway through so it doesn't look like I've just started <laughs> yeah. the and then oh, screenshot yeah, yeah, yeah. it so it looks yeah, yeah, like yeah, I've yeah. listened yeah. I do that when I'm like tweeting a mate's song like banger this <laughs> <laughs> never oh, listen to yeah. it <laughs> Frank oh, this is dude. a tune this <laughs> yeah oh, I'm only joking right as this yeah. is our first episode of 2020 uh, first main show episode I thought it would be good to basically look back on 2019 what a year we had some good times we, we had did. some bad times <laughs> we didn't have any times with Jeremy Gore Robin didn't oh, rock up. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but before we do I'm that, so glad he lost. Now we'll go month. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing political, just the man himself. You right? did before end up so voting cool. conservative just off the back of that. Nah, greens. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I had neck injury, so I couldn't get down to the polling station. True story. Oh, so you didn't even vote. You didn't, I, even, all right. <laughs> you didn't even exercise. Let's do the the, the show, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what I'm, what we're going to do? Before Jeremy Corbyn ruins another one. We're going to go through <laughs> each month, uh, month by month, as you do, starting in January. Ending in, can you guess which month? December. He's well, been to uni. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> he loves his maths. He loves his maths. <laughs> but before we do that, I thought it'd be good to look back at our Spotify wrapped. And let the, let, the, uh, let the viewers and the listeners see what kind of numbers we're pulling. <laughs> Humble brag. <laughs> yeah. Incoming. Uh, do, do you guys know what the top three listen to happy hour episodes were of 2019? No. I can't remember, I no. Didn't, I didn't look. I've got the top three here in reverse chronological order. Okay. Do you want to have a guess? Right. So we're talking third. Actually, don't worry about orders. Just try and guess the three. I think Anais is in there. What do you reckon? I want to say meal deal is, but purely for us. I'd love it, yeah. All right. So I'll tell you, sorry, sorry, we're going to make this a game, right? So you've had your first shot. It's like a penalty shootout system. It's not at all, but so (laughs) three strikes, you're out. Okay. Right. It's Jordan. You say. Anais Gallagher, the first one. Oh, this music's tense. I like this. More work for you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where's the music? Yeah, go um, right, yes, and there's Gallagher, first one. 
is not in the top three most listened to happy hour. I was stupid. I'm going to go obvious. KSI. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa it has whoa. to be. Hang on. You don't get to have a second shot at your I first shot. You just said nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you got to stay true to you. What's, what's changed there then? I've just realised KSI, I remember him pulling in quite a lot for us. But was that in 2019 or was that to the tail end of 2018, let me ask you? You can't look, you cannot look. <laughs> Jesus, just Google the answers. I thought answers. it was, I swear it was 2019. I'm early. trying to think, because that KSI one, that was the first, because I started as an editor. So and you were I, in I, That was the first one. I was between KSI and True Geordie. That was in you January. Came in, I thought it was March. But I edited the KSI one. What, are you, are you saying KSI? I'm sticking with KSI. KSI is... The most played episode of 2019. Uh, surprise. Yeah, right. Jordan, <laughs> hit me. Go along the same lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, um, Vickster. I've probably thrown you under the bus there. <laughs> <laughs> when I said go along the same, li- same lines. There's a YouTuber in there. It's not Vickster. So you're two, two strikes, Stevie. Mm. True, Jordy? Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. You are a little boffin, isn't you? Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If we're taking this game seriously, <laughs> you can't have a fucking practice kick with meal deal. <laughs> okay. And then when the third one, failed... I'll leave my third one as meal deal then, so well, I don't get on, another hang choice. Hang on, before you do that... Respectable. It's Jordan's shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he could pick meal deal. <laughs> yeah, you could take it from are me. Are you going to take meal deal? <laughs> Because the thing is, now thinking about this logically, it's not called meal deal. It was called like the most controversial Which podcast. Which is still a bit clickbaity. It is. Are you going for it? No. You're not stealing that from him. You're um, not, not clawing back no a way. point. Let me just think. <laughs> what? What? Sorry, what? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> no, no. Don't say that. <laughs> oh, God. You do what you got to do, mate. Oh, you're such an arsehole. <laughs> um, I'm going to say, oh, you fucker. <laughs> I can't do it now, but I can. No, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say Sloss. Daniel Sloss is not up there. Right. I have to stick with Meal Deal, don't I? I don't... Meal Deal is not up there. Oh. But you do, you win 2-0. Uh, the third one, I'm going to let you in because you. I reckon I could give you 40 guesses and you wouldn't get it. Really? It was an unexpected one. Yeah. Mini Mentor. Yeah, it was actually uh, myself, you and Stevie and Alex, this one was. And it's called Logan Paul is going gay for March. Oh, oh that yeah. was, yeah, early controversy and shit. Yeah. I completely Bet. forgot about that episode. Yeah, I did. Did he actually go gay? Think Did, so. Everyone just forgot about that. I think it's just a joke he I made. I think he's gone gay more recently. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. you've seen the just video, de- delayed it, did he? <laughs> I don't uh, know. I don't know if that's him. I did watch it. Did you see it? No, I didn't. You didn't see I it? Didn't find it. No. Have you I, seen it? I just saw jokes on Twitter. It's a guy laying on a bed with his head backwards off of the bed, and a man stood over him, throat ramming him. <laughs> right. Which one is, is he being throat rammed or throat rammer? Allegedly, Logan <laughs> nice. in this situation is the guy with sore cheek muscles. <laughs> right, okay. How much Girthy, can you see? Then. You see the big old dick going in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a porn is, video. Is, is, I meant is, it, is, it more is, like... It's just like it resembles him. It's a guy with a good jaw, somewhat brown stubble and long blonde hair. It's quite fit. <laughs> Okay. It's all right. I'm <laughs> fair. Twenty yeah, percent like it. Right. We fair have listeners. <laughs> moving on swiftly. Uh, we have movers. <laughs> uh, movers. Movers. Fuck. What movers am I doing? Shakers in we have listeners in seventy-three different countries. Oh, that's impressive. That is impressive, isn't it? So, uh, and uh, and on the Spotify Wrapped actually reads from Colombia to Singapore. That's twelve thousand and thirteen miles of mind-expanding listening. Well, <laughs> that's yeah. that that the last way. Yeah, I would that's not describe stretch. happy hour as that. <laughs> it's happy hour again. <laughs> Just believe them. What? I, I think that's how it goes. Nice range. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Thank you. <laughs> I got told the other day that I am the worst singer someone's ever heard. Who said that? <laughs> Who the fuck said that? Alfie. <laughs> oh, wow. And he's, yeah. a, he's a musician. Yeah. Oh, Nice person to hear it from. It hurt me. Uh, <laughs> so that's how many different countries. I can't right. imagine. Can you imagine somebody in Colombia listening to us? Just, just <laughs> sorting out the cocaine. Yeah, just done a lot of cocaine <laughs> off a monkey knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta listen to these guys, man. <laughs> just, like, just, just some dude with an AK forty seven garden, like one of the fields with their earphones in. It's like that Robbie Knox guy, man. Oh, he's back on again. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to work in this factory anymore. It's too hard. I don't want to make drugs. Shut up. We let you listen to the Robbie Knox episode. You should be grateful, you little cunt. <laughs> oh, they're um, not kids. They're adults. <laughs> <laughs> what um, do you think? 
is okay this was a big question one um, that neither of you are ever going to get <laughs> but how many people do you think <laughs> listen to our podcast oh, yeah. more than any other so it's one thing just people saying oh we really listen we like your podcast these people have proven it by listening to us more than any other podcast on their oh, audio see, so we are their number one we're we their number their one how are we ever going to get this it's it's yeah lower than we thought <laughs> uh, what's your go on have a ballpark I'll tell you if you're in the range I'll give you 5,000 either way Ooh, bloody hell that's generous um, what, what were you going to say originally I was going to go low <laughs> what you were going to say like 600 or something no I was going to go in the thousands but 5,000 is a big way, gap which yeah. makes me think it's higher than I expected alright can you tell me what you was originally going to do I was probably going to say around like 15,000 right okay but now that you've said a 5,000 gap makes me then think that, way higher yeah. yeah. and now I'm going to be sorely disappointed when it's not mm. so I'm going to say uh, 123,000 <laughs> Jesus. That would be amazing. I wouldn't still be renting a place, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was only because you said that. Okay, I'll go really low. Yo, you got to go first. No, 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 no. I'll go really low. I'll, go, I'll, I'll pick a pathetic number out of the air. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll I stick know. with my 15. Right. Let's go 40k. 40k? Yeah. Little drum roll, please. Do this time. Oh. We're... <laughs> so, keep forgetting we've got, we've got, uh, got a man in the, in the wheel. 36,045. Round of applause. Round of applause. Five gauge way. Oh, got it nailed it. We'll, we'll call that 1 1. I won the penalty shootout. You won yeah. that one. Yeah. We need one more game. It's almost like we discussed that on the. It's <laughs> mad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look at his face. You <laughs> bastard. His little face. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, right. That's it. So, <laughs> 36,000. I want our target this year to be more than that. So, so <laughs> right? yeah, anyone so listening growing. now, thought, stop listening to other podcasts. Yes. Yeah. Or, yeah. No, 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 no. Or just listen to us more. Yeah. Well, if we released more, they might be able to. I'm, I'm on the grind this year. You will fucking see. You okay. will see. I'm make, pleasure. make that promise right now. Yeah. I, will, I, I promise that I will... Slowly That fucking meme of Homer just going backwards into the head. Yeah. I'm assuming... I, I've had sentence. enough of them. I'm assuming you two have had the same of people just tweeting us saying... Oh, mate. Why aren't you uploading? Like, where's happy hour? All That's my the... socials for the last, like, three weeks has been where's the happy hour? So... That's the best feeling ever, though, that people actually give a shit about it. Yeah, not when no, we're not sure. Do you know what I mean? Um, no, no. I pledge to things, and then we'll move on. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I, I'm going to try... It's nice to be missed. ...and pledge at least two episodes every week. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. I got, I got Noxie. No, no, no. Yeah, true. Okay. I don't know what that includes. Uh, so happy a, half hour. A, yeah. a main show, happy hour and a half hour every week. From now <laughs> till March, <laughs> 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 yeah. I go out a lot in March. It's my birthday. <laughs> uh, from now until December, surely December. The year, the year, yeah, December. And 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 wait, wait. I'm allowed. I'm allowed only three hiccups. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, that's brilliant because I could like stop uploading in August, come back in November and be like, that's one hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any, anyone listening to this now, if you have the software, oh, crop amazing. this, clip this little part and oh. send it to us when Jack has his first hiccup. Yeah. Uh, um, if first. if I, every time I miss an upload, right? How, so oh, every time stop. I... Every, <laughs> I'm trying to save you from yourself right now. <laughs> Every you time, are digging. If Sunday night comes and we haven't uploaded two episodes in the past week, you can all spam my socials and call me a little fucker. Yeah, okay. Little okay. fucker Jack, we got it. <laughs> uh, I quite like that. <laughs> uh, you, oh, how, many, how many episodes do you think we released last year? Oh. Are we talking or, or, what, what, audio? Yeah. Audio, yeah. I want to say 50. Right? Yeah, surely. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Because that's a good guess, right? You're you're very very close. I'll let let Jordan. You can win the point, right? You can get the decider <laughs> right. if you go higher or lower and you get okay. it correct. I think I was gonna say about sixty, so I'll go higher. Oh, and he doesn't actually know this one. No, I don't. Fifty-five. Oh no! Nah, you got right it. in between us. He said he was going to say sixty. <laughs> I said fifty. So That's in order true. to do two a week, we've already missed two weeks of the year. So we've got 50, <laughs> 50, fifty years left. Uh, fifty years. Fifty years. <laughs> we need to do hundred episodes. I do this not year. have fifty years left. Uh, fifty. <laughs> One hundred will do. Hundred episodes this year. You've heard it here first. If I get to as about, in 
we'll hit a episode 100 or we'll do 100 episodes. We'll do 100, 100, 100 episodes, episodes in okay. 2020. Yeah. Does that include and Robbie Knox? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are committed. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> we right. won't be allowed to leave the studio. <laughs> oh, we, I've, I've made a rod for my own back there, haven't I? Yeah. I could do have a rod for my own back because I've actually pulled a muscle <laughs> in my back and it's really sore. <laughs> it's go. really sore. I'd forgotten about it for a while. I was actually all right and now, <laughs> now I'm you've... in agony. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, um, I don't know if this is interesting to any of you guys, but the fact that everyone shares their Spotify rap to everyone, I assume people yeah, are somewhat people love this shit. interested. Um, I assume. So we've have, that was 3.2 thousand minutes of content that we put out. That's good. That's I'd, like to, I'd like wow. to know how long people listened for. Yeah. Because that would be in the millions. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, that sounded like, really arrogant, but, no, I, but do, yeah. I do think it That'd would. That would be like years of listening, yeah. which is mad. Yeah. And we, uh, they, we've been compared to four podcasts on Spotify Rap. Ooh. Okay. I think you can guess. Game. Uh, what's Good, Mini Minter. What's Good, Mini Minter and Randolph. True Geordie. Sure. True Geordie, the podcast by True Geordie and Lawrence. Oh, Stevie. I ain't got a clue. I don't know after that. Um, Do you not? Peter Crouch. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Peter Crouch, hey. Chris Stark, and Tom Fordyce. Shout out. And um, oh. I'll give you a clue. Yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. The clue is the bit where it says, my old friend. Oh, Internet Sensation. Internet podcast. Sensation podcast. So uh, we're within good company. Yeah. Within yeah. Safe hands. And it's, uh, it's a bit of a privilege to be amongst them. So fair play to us boys for fucking smashing it In time and time again. someone who scored a hat trick for England <laughs> against Jamaica. What, Geordie? <laughs> Must have missed that game. <laughs> <Better, better, better. laughs> and the final question, before we go to an ad, is... Um, our top countries, right, there's two. There's only given me two. They could have given me more stats, really. Um, the UK is obviously our most listened to demographic. Yeah. Do <laughs> you, do, where do you think the second one is? Because I'll give you both a clue. It's buzz in time, right? <laughs> right. This has been prepared. So your buzz goes, oh, don't kill the rhinos. Right, <laughs> right yeah. And y- your buzzer is, I'm not telling you where I work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Right. So, uh, wait. Have we got to say that? Hold yeah, on. Do, yeah. Can we just do it now? Or do, do we need to? I'll I'll, t- I'll tell you when you can buzz. Uh, you, <laughs> you can buzz. I'm not telling you where I work. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't I don't know I, sorry, John. Wait there. Hang on. I don't think your buzzer was actually working, mate. Oh. Go on, just try it again. Oh. <laughs> Did you want me to say? Sorry. I want you to say. <laughs> Sorry. What was it? It's talking about rhinos. Stop killing the rhinos. Yeah. Uh, stop killing the rhinos. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to go Australia. You nerdy little shit. That's yes. What, that's what I would have said. Would you? Yeah. Why? Because I don't think it would be the US. And Australia are like... I would have well thought US. US. We take the piss out of America a lot, don't we? But we speak about Logan. We speak about yeah. Jake. <laughs> Keemstar. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> yeah. Three things. But yeah. I, I would... I would Australia... Yeah, and they're just, they just. They, I think they. I feel like they get Australia humor. exactly. Australian humour is closer to British humour. I feel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I reckon Australians why. watch British YouTubers more <clears throat> than they watch. Yeah. I think it's more based on your viewers than necessarily who we've pulled in. Yeah. Whereas my YouTube channel is my second demographic is um is America. Weird. So uh, the Aussies, the bloody Aussies, are loving the Happy Hour podcast. The old Kipper. I'm you did that. Kipper, <laughs> Kipper. I just <laughs> Kipper. What do they say? You old Nipper. <laughs> Let's go for a break. We'll go for a break. And when we come back, we'll be looking through January to December of some of our most awkward moments on the podcast, some of our funniest moments. Yeah. And it's not going to be one of those shitty compilation videos where we just put in clips. We are actually going to be... Like the Robbie Knox one you just uploaded. <laughs> See you after the break. Bye. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to the Happy Hour podcast. Hello with the boys and we are about to do a rundown uh, from January to December of our best bits. January, where the year begun, obviously. Yeah. The, this is a little bit before your time, Jordan. Um, yeah, and I think I come on as a guest in January. Mid, I think, January, something like that. Yeah. I was between KSI and True Geordie. Bobby Misner was one. Oh, what do you did, think? did you watch this? I've watched that one, yes. He was the guy, so for anyone who doesn't know, I don't need to keep saying that, um, I'll, just, I'll explain most of these guests, but Bobby Misner was the guy who um, was the son of a billionaire, mm. and he made that video, Who is Bobby? 
And it was Haven't heard anything from him since. I checked last night when I was researching this episode. He hasn't uploaded in three months. Oh. Uh, but he does now work for French Montana. Is that a... Oh, is that, really? Is that, is that, is that, it's an artist, isn't it? Oh, is it? No, yeah, it like music. A, I thought it was like a fashion brand. No, I think it's not a music artist. Mm. Um, he works there. He weird, met- weird one about him, as I'm sure you've all heard us complain millions of times, it is fucking hot in this studio. Yeah. yeah. He came in in this leather jacket, and as soon as he walked in, I was like, oh, you probably want to take that off. He didn't, did he? No. Not straight away, at it least. Was, it was a three and a half grand jacket. I googled it. Jesus. Hey, but, 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 right? And I'm not now going to... Kids in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, right? Yeah. I'm not now going to go like, oh, is that all you've got? Because I couldn't afford that jacket. But he wears it all the time. And yeah. if you are the son of a billionaire, yeah. three and a half grand That's is probably, lot, what, is about it? 35 quid yeah. to us? Yeah. You wouldn't wear the same jacket yeah. all the time. I wear the same 35 pound jackets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not trying to come across pretentious here, but it's like, he seems like he, f- he flaunts his money in everyone's face, yeah. doesn't he? Mm. Why are you just wearing that all the time then? Yeah. Like, surely, he he yeah. seems like the sort of guy that just you know you know uh, them, them fucking rich people that just like have a brand new pair of socks they'll mm. wear them and then they'll throw them out yeah. and then the yeah. next day they've got a brand new pair of socks yeah he seems like one of those cunts if I ever got rich I would love to just get loads and loads of disposable cutlery because mm. I Save do not like up. to yeah wash get up get a dishwasher I might start getting paper plates that I have thought about that. <laughs> yeah. Because you do just, there you go. Yeah. Down. Sort of. Aside from the money Same with the Misner, yeah. you really enjoyed the episode, though, didn't you? I enjoyed the episode, yeah. I just, because I, I, I felt like he was actually surprisingly somewhat pleasant. I think he mm. quite liked you. Yeah. Which is why he was as pleasant as he was. Like, I think he. He's Australian. As, he was what? He's Australian. He was, yes. That's why. We get his list. Australian. I could just be that. Yeah. <laughs> Listeners yeah. from him. Yeah. I, I think um, him creating a YouTube channel, he obviously already knew who you were because he shared your stuff before coming. I think he just liked you and liking a YouTuber above him, yeah. which you were, well, you still are, I'd imagine, if he's not uploading. So, But I really liked him. Like I'd mug him off and he would find it funny. But that's because of that. Yeah. Like he was self-aware. He was self-aware. That's what I like in someone. If you're mm. self-aware. Yeah. But I think I think you're allowed to mug him off because he looks up to you. Like if Ricky Gervais called, I don't, I don't said something he, I don't to you. Looks, I don't think he looks up to in, me. In a YouTube sense, not in a... Right. He's a rich boy, yeah. but like in no, a no, YouTube no, no, sense. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That sounded like the Batman theme. Yeah, it, it, was, it, I, it was okay. Yeah. I wasn't the biggest fan. He... What, of the app? I like the app. No, I like the episode. He was... Uh, he was yeah. He was really fucking tall. Yes. And, and he kept fiddling around with this fucking USB stick in his hand, so I thought. And then I went back, and then somebody put, yo, Bobby rocking the jewel, J-U-U-L. And I was like, what is that? And I Googled it. Changed your life. Yeah, <laughs> now I've got a nicotine habit. So, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that, Misner. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. After that, we, had, um, we went from Misner to K-S-I. Ooh. Big one. The YouTuber of the year, yeah. recently on the front cover of GQ magazine. Madness. Huge. Changing the game. 100%. Breaking the mould. Taking it to new levels. He is indeed. What, um, you, you, we, the, you, I edited that you one. You edited that one. Yeah. What about, what do you think of him? Him, actually, he was really nice. He was the first in a long, we had, we had a fair few guests before that, I think. And he was one of the first that after we'd finished filming, Mm -hmm. he just stood outside with us and, well, just outside the studio with us and spoke to us for a while. And we just had like normal conversations with him. And he turned up in a well nice, I think he turned up in in an Uber Lux, I think they call it. Yeah. Which is like a luxury Uber, which is something I've never understood. Do you get that? Like, yeah, right, you've got money to burn, Mm. right? But if you're just getting a taxi, and I'm not judging him for this, I'm genuinely just asking the question from A to B, Mm. and you're not going anywhere cool, you're just coming to this canteen type place yeah. do you get a luxury car in london that could be a 45 minute journey though people pay first class on a train yeah so it's, it's kind yeah, of like going first class on a car isn't it yeah but yeah him um strangely ksi is one of the only youtubers i ever actually watched um everyone watched to, him didn't yeah, they? yeah he's yeah. probably the only one i used to watch all his welcome to beast videos mm. so meeting him in person and kind of seeing that he's i actually really liked him as a person yeah was quite nice i was um 
I would I don't know how to explain it. I wasn't anxious, but I was kind of and I wasn't um hesitant about, because of the stature of the man and who he is. I was hesitant whether or not I'd be able to hit the right tone for that because I just had Bobby Misner on and I'd crucified him for stuff that <clears throat> yeah. I didn't like. And I've criticised KSI in the past, yeah. obviously, for certain things. So people were like really expecting me not to let not to let him off easy. Mm. But he hasn't really done anything in the last few years. Nah. So what did I have to say? Yeah, nah, and, and it's very hard, like I was saying to you on the way here now, if I tweet Gervais anything anything if i retweet afterlife 2 if i say this is brilliant i will get 10 15 comments going he's not going to shag you mate yeah. uh, brown noser how does his ass taste and all shit like this and yeah. it's and uh, so there's no way you can when somebody's you see somebody as so when you admire somebody it's hard to compliment them without these little cretins online giving you shit but i think the episode was good i thought he he was really relaxed and yeah he said a lot more than we expected as well the whole joe weller car park story yeah i think added a lot to it you know you get these little golden <laughs> moments when you do podcasts where you feel like yeah. you've just gotten a story out of somebody that they haven't told anyone else and it's something you don't expect going into it either yeah brilliant so no good good app good app we're going from a good app to <laughs> we're in february now we're not not necessarily a bad app mm. this is a this is a, <clears throat> a, a friend of mine a, a, a good friend of mine um brian okay but this is funny this is funny because there's a story about this that's going to make it into to the end of the show to, yeah. to one of our most awkward moments. <laughs> we're going to let people really behind the curtain now. Yeah. And, uh, so we're going to we're going to skim over Brian and come back to him at the end. Uh, Lawrence McKenna was that day as well. Yes, you get on well with I, Lawrence. Yeah, I really like Lawrence. Mm. Don't know if he really he, that day he seemed to. I wouldn't know how to say it without sounding insulting towards him. Go on. But I think when they started the True Geordie thing and Lawrence was in it, he was always looked at as. The side Brian's piece. Side the piece. side bitch. And obviously... The Stevie. <clears throat> exactly. And that, that's obviously always what I was, yeah. with Alex being there. Um, and then, I don't know if Lawrence took to that. Both times we've had Lawrence on, he's, he's given a great given a great episode the set, yeah I mean obviously I was involved in the second episode obviously we're now skipping ahead to October fine, I yeah, do yeah. apologise but I, I thought Lawrence was one of the wittiest quickest and funniest people I've ever sat down with he is to yeah. be honest I thought I, I thought he was absolutely fucking brilliant yeah it, it really did stick with me that episode. I was like, <coughs> "Fucking hell!" It, little th even like his mannerisms and things. Yeah. I, I rated him very highly. He, he's 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 witty to the point where sometimes you don't know if he's mugging you off. Yeah, and I also think a lot of his jokes go over people's heads. Most they certainly, just don't, they don't realise he's joking. It's no, like yeah. that was brilliant. Yes. Yes. and no yeah. one. It's just silence. Yeah, like, but we will we'll talk about the awkward moment at yeah. the end because we're going to go through kind of like a not a, not a, but kind of like a YouTube awards happy hour awards where we give okay. our moments and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, so we're still in February and we're, we're we've got uh, Tubesy Tubesy in the studio. Ah, ah. were you? This is li I think this was the episode before I came on full time. Right, Tubes. So I'll sit out of this one. I adore the man. Yes, I think he's fucking brilliant. Such a nice guy as well. You can't get a nicer man. What? Him and Robbie, Robbie Knox. Knox. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's probably, friends. Yeah, that's probably why they get on so well. Um, just speaks so fucking openly yeah. about his battle with alcohol. Not something that, that you imagine people would want to talk so freely about mm. as well. Quite a difficult topic. That but. was our first episode, I think. I, yeah, that I can think of where we went from mainly humour to, oh, actually, this is... Real shit. Yeah. There it, was there was a lot of humour in it still, but then that whole heart attack stuff came in and it was like we're not exactly what we thought we were the, in a good way. The, yeah, that could have that's kind of changed the course of happy hour, really, didn't it? Because, yeah. Because because we without this is something that I think we need to give ourselves more credit for, being able to get the humour and then really hit them hard hard hitting points if you want. So right, yeah. I'd, 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 ex I'd, I'd go as far as to say we're 80% humour, 20% yeah. serious. Yeah. Right? And the True Geordie podcast, which is one of my favourite podcasts, is the reverse of that. Mm. So they have the 20% humour, which is Lawrence, and yeah. then the 80% is like yeah. real serious, serious yeah, 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 topics. Yeah. So I think, I think that's probably why we were compared to... Yeah, we get so many comments online saying, oh, happy hour, and then it's like a sad yeah. kind yeah. of... It's irony, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, fucking, it's, it's really wanna... not hard to pick up on. The original logo had a fucking unhappy face in it for fuck's sake. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Wake up. I moan sheeple. on YouTube every Sorry. single video. And I expect you to be on here and smile the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Live shit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. before we move on from tubes, though, it's good because we, we I was doing a shoot with 
him around the corner like a, a few months after he came on and obviously he's got his battle with alcohol and that which he's 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 I think pretty much uh, over now well, he's been what yeah. three or four years yeah. sober which is brilliant. I liked that uh, after we filmed with Tubes we went to the pub yeah that was yeah we literally went straight to the pub from here really? he bought me and Jack a pint yeah, and, and got himself an orange juice. And there's kind of that awkward moment where it's like, are we dangling the carrot? Yeah, here? Yeah, like, yeah. what are we doing? But you but asked shows him. Shows great self control. Yeah, no, yeah. I asked him. I was like, so do you, I think I asked him on the show. I was like, so can you go to the pub? He's like, I can be around it yeah. and uh, I can have a pint. Well, that thing that you filmed because I was there as well. That's where I first met him and Robbie Knox. That was filmed in a pub, wasn't it? Yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. That you did the interview? Yeah. Thing. No, he said I can have a pint and like put it to like he can smell it, but as soon as he drinks it it'll just relapse again yeah so right. but it, when we was doing that thing in the pub that you then alluded to I walked in and there was a there was a crushed um, Budweiser can on the shelf behind where Stoops was standing yeah. and I went oh Pete you haven't <laughs> like that. And he, yeah. he looked but luckily he laughed because that could have gone completely either way wrong. yeah but no good good lad Tubesy love love, uh, love Tubes yeah I love Tubes check out his YouTube channel if you're into golf and football interviews uh, conspiracy theory hey. there it is a big one I just want to say before we get into it i feel like there's cornerstones within our podcast where we hit a gem and yeah. then that changes the way in which we go for a while yeah we never knew we'll get to it obviously but we never knew the meal deal thing was going to become relevant and we ended yeah. up doing a live show at summer in the city about meal deals yeah. yeah i think this was like a moment where we were like this is fun yeah like conspiracy well, the, theories the, the, I, obviously i don't know your, your guys thought process or whatever could, but obviously i came on as a guest and then i came back and did the conspiracy <laughs> one now i'm still here mm. you know so so it's like and that was obviously unexpected when i come on as a guest it, let's 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 be brutally honest it was you doing me a favor really yeah right, which which i'm it still to this day incredibly grateful for um but yeah so so but i feel like the conspiracy one it was showing that you you had the power to host yeah not just answer questions yeah. but take it and and also but it was so fucking fun that was the thing it was fun episode. you've done so much so research fun. as well it was so, so much fun. research what I liked about the conspiracy theories one is that we hadn't done anything like that before yeah. so we, we did our episodes with Alex just us me you and Alex mm. and they'd always be YouTube based mm. and to step away from that and do an episode that we all enjoyed as much as we did yeah. was really nice for us and it led on to all these other episodes where it's just been us which is like right now yeah. where we can just talk about anything yeah. Yeah. and I think these are probably our best moments in the studio. I, I have but, more yeah. fun with these than, yeah. than than any of the. I, I right. I'll, I'll 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 say it right. So I fucking love having the guests on. Yeah. I get. I'm not just saying this. I get inundated with DMs and messages from people saying they fucking love the episodes where it's just us three. Yeah. So, and yeah. we just chat and shit. Yeah. You know, they, uh, they uh, absolutely love that. I think stuff. it's just because we're all so much more relaxed. Mm. Yeah. Um, certain ones, we'll obviously get on to like the meal deal one, mm. not remotely planned. That was completely 100% winged. And we can just talk but, and make it last an hour yeah. and be happy with it. If you yeah. think about it, this episode's not too planned. All I've done is written out a list of guests that we've had on and we're going through and talking about really? it. No, off. exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I love. I feel like I don't host the episode as much when it's just us free talking. Because yeah. when there's a guest, obviously, I've got the questions in front of me. Yeah. I feel like I host it. I love... When I think back to my best memories of Happy Hour in the studio, mm. I have I have way more fun doing this, by the way, than I do my main channel. Like, yeah. Yes, definitely, right? Yeah. I'd but, be really shocked if you didn't. Yeah. You sit in your little shed <laughs> yeah, on your own. So yeah. 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 It's very solitary, isn't yeah. it? And I but, think... I, I, I don't give a shit how it sounds. I think us three have... Fucking fantastic chemistry, yeah. which is why it works so well. Yeah, you know? I'd, I'd I'd agree. I but I feel like the these ones when it's just us, the solo ones. Sometimes I can just like so it's the conspiracy one. In two weeks' time, we're going to be doing another conspiracy one. We are indeed. Um, I like sometimes, and not even to be lazy, but just to sit back and just yeah. to like let let it happen yeah. because. Yeah. It's like when when you can have that, I think you've got the best job in the world. Really, you just yeah, sit there sure. and, and just have a laugh. Uh, when you when we're going to get onto these, but I would bracket con the conspiracy episode, mm -hmm. the ghost one that you did, yep. and then the urban legends one that yes. you yes. did, all in the same thing. Yeah, and I think going forward, twenty twenty, I don't know what the guys think out there, the listeners and that, but I think we should do more of them. Yes, because I think I'd they're so fun. That. I'd yeah. love that. Yeah, I had a message the other day, some someone saying, "Are you going to do another conspiracy episode?" Yeah. So perfect timing. There we yeah, go. we're going to do one in yeah. a couple of weeks' yeah. time. The conspiracy yeah. episode itself, it sounds like you get a lot of conspiracy vid videos online where it tends to be just fact based yeah. and all facts there are conspiracies yeah. but um where it's just very 
I'd say hard hitting, but just a bit monotone. Mm. But yes. we made it into a game. Yeah. There was a bit of enjoyment with it, and yeah. like we could just take the piss out of them. Yeah, absolutely. As much as they're believable or unbelievable, and yeah. I think that adds to it rather yeah. than just saying, "Ah, oh, this is this." Mm. And also with those conspiracy videos, it's often like a, a, a guy or a lady in front of a camera explain the conspiracy theory whereas this is three guys sat around a table having a chat yeah, yeah. and even that is just adds so much and I just think ultimately we bring a lot more comedy to it than yeah. other podcasts yeah, that I've seen sure. do it um, after that it was March oh and um, you must have been away oh. or maybe you weren't a permanent host what was this for Ricky Gervais so I don't I couldn't no, no the conspiracy one I think you asked me we to come filmed, back we filmed oh, right. Gervais before Oh right! We had to wait for Afterlife. Yeah, to come out. we did. Yeah, that's it. We had to, to, to Release, uh, delay yeah. it. Yeah. This, I, I'm, I'm more interested. And I think the people out there will be more interested in, in what you think of him because I think obviously my opinions on the man are clear. And yeah. um, I've met him quite a few times now. Yeah. Um, so, so what did you think of him? Because obviously this was your first time. Was you nervous then on the train up from I, Bristol? I was a bit. Yeah, because you, you know, I've loved Gervais and I've seen all of his stand ups and stuff. Tried to get tickets to go and see him. Mm. Impossible. Yeah, they sell out it's in literally like two impossible. seconds. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I was, I was nervous, but then I think I had a bit of an advantage as to someone who would just think they're meeting him in the sense that you've met him and yeah. you've told me that he's nice. Yeah. But yeah, I wasn't expecting him to be the way he was. He came in in joggers and dirty <laughs> shoes. Um, he'd been for a walk in a park to meet other people's dogs. Um, <laughs> he was just genuinely really nice. Um, it was, it's one of those as well as if you say something, you get someone like that to have a laugh at it. It's yeah. just like really relax. It's the second that happens, you're like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. I can now relax. Mm. And even after we filmed, the door was still shut we stopped recording and he was like oh can I just test a joke on you guys that I'm going to do on my <laughs> no new show way. and he just he did Sick. a joke about um, Liam Neeson I think Yeah. and uh, we were just like that, that was such a surreal moment where it's like That's he's brilliant. trying out a joke just to two people I'd forgotten yeah. about that yeah and and what I like about him is um, he is ne he never seems like he's rushing through it like mm. oh like what what is he getting out of doing a small YouTube podcast like mm. but he never seems like he's like oh, just, I've just got to get it done it's another yeah, one of the yeah, press yeah. things he sit he sits around after and mm. chats yeah. and stuff he said that as well we took a halfway break at about 45 50 minutes and you said I oh, would we'll take a quick break there and he said oh how long has it been and when you answered he was like already yeah like he seemed like mm. shocked that it had just gone so yeah. fast and then he didn't seem like he was in a rush to leave at all no and i think yeah he, he that... actually took pictures of all the production outside and stuff nice. like, and gave like so i think sam from, from photos, the network yeah. asked him to do like a video for for his wedding or something yeah he did, he did that um it, it's, it's it's normal stuff but it's nice yeah. stuff yeah, that, yeah, you, yeah. that you wouldn't expect from a man of that caliber like yeah fucking hell he's off doing the golden he's done the golden globes the other week yeah and, and but um what i like as well i think we may have said this before but we wear these headphones so we can hear each other a lot better in the studio he has been the only a lot of the guests you have in maybe like even people like chris md tom grennan yeah. people like that they might not do a load of podcasts so it's yeah. a bit new to them and and then they come in, they go, do I need these headphones? And you say, not really. And they put them on anyway, right? We Technically, we don't need them. No. We can do the podcast like this. Just sounds better when they're on. Gervais is the only person, only guest we've ever had who's gone, do I need them? And I've gone, not really. And he's like, won't use them then. <laughs> 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 he just let, he let is them. the only guest as well who's done hundreds and hundreds of podcasts. Like he's done so many before. Yeah. Yeah. That he's like, But yeah, he was so relaxed yeah. as well. He's just sat back in the chair. Yeah. But yeah, I think his insights into everything were just so interesting to listen to. And you, you do you do cling hold on cling on to his every word yeah just because he is a master of the thing yeah. that I want to do so Percent. when he was talking about the perfect joke you can get the perfect joke and it's like a little gold the what, diamond di yeah. and a little diamond and you just polish it and polish it and pol polish it and then you're left with something that's so pure and just like the perfect thing I was like that's that's incredible I yeah. like that um, but yeah obviously he's a hero of mine there's no there's no disguise in that so if you guys think I'm brown nosing him. He is a hero of mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what Fuck else him. am I going to do? Fuck, Fuck him. Um, it was weird as well because them joggers, right? When I did his radio show, he literally just put his legs up on the table like that. Went back in his chair and just done the whole show like that. <laughs> I was just like, you are the most laid back man I think I've <laughs> ever seen in my life. After that, we had, um, this is your first episode, Chris MD. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was my first proper co-host. I was gig. away for work for that one. So. Yeah, so I stepped up and heard about how his whole 
life was changed by opening a fucking pack on FIFA. Yeah. Unbelievable. Mad. He packed Ronaldo and then the rest was history. Because this was back mental. in the day where like not everyone got him all mm. the time. Mm. And now it seems like like I don't I don't <laughs> I don't play FIFA Ultimate Team, but I see like Josh Serka go, Oh, I've just got this icon. Vic Star just got this icon. Then yeah. other rat like to, uh, I think it's more normal. Them. I think it's more normal for people to put money into it now. Mm. But the big YouTubers they must have something with EA. Just not not to be able to pack them, but to be able to just keep opening packs. Yeah. Or they They've got so much money. Opening a pack is nothing to them. Yeah, yeah. that's like, what it is. Of course, they're gonna they're In gonna pack currency. them eventually. You've got a chance of getting that yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. But back then, where this wasn't a pack opening was like a big thing. Yeah, I, I don't find pack opening videos videos exciting now. No. <laughs> back then, it was a bit like, oh, what a lucky prick. And now it's like, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't yeah. get it. I sound like a granddad because, or like a, an old man, an old grumpy man, because I always slag off like. Men, grown men, getting excited over packing a pixelated Ronaldo. Yeah, but it's a bit closed-minded. It's just not my thing. <laughs> did you but ever play Ultimate Team? I did play Ultimate Team, but so this is what I do every year, right? So hypocrite alert. Mm. I get FIFA and I get, download Ultimate Team and I put in fifty pounds from yeah. the start, right? I open packs, boom, 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 boom. If I get someone good, I build a team around him and I try and play. Last four years, I've got to fuck all. I've got like <laughs> Phil Jones or something. So then I don't, I can't build a team build around a team him. Around yeah. So I just, Jones. I just play FIFA with my mates after that, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't bought the last two Fifas. You're not missing Simi- anything. Yeah, similar reason. And I, I found Ultimate Teams the only reason I ever played it, or just like pre drinks or something with mates. Yeah. Um, and Ultimate Team dies in about March when everyone's got good players, and mm. it's all a bit like, does it? Yeah, because the whole thing when ultimate teams building up is that you pay like players are crazy expensive but then by around March time they've all dropped in price because all of these um, team of the week players come out and then the team of the year team comes out and all of that they can't overdo their prices which means the max priced ones before have now dropped to be taken over by the team of the year ones Mad. and then the lower priced people have now nothing so I remember I used to I got I buzzed when I managed to get Oscar when he played at Chelsea yeah. and I had like a partial Brazilian team and that's he was a like a thousand coins that's a guy that fucked his career yeah. well what money's still there for, in the Chinese league but... yeah not for long they're capping that I know 45 well Ooh. it's better be talking about Chris yeah, MD yeah, yeah. Chris, Chris MD was nice episode as a whole what was it like I wasn't there I so, enjoyed it so this is the you thing know. right Chris MD is what so I was going to say straight off the bat I'm going to fall in the exact same category that you did make the same mistake because I can't remember mm. but obviously he's from Jersey or Guernsey one of them and you said the wrong one <laughs> straight off the bat and yeah. he was like actually it's the other one he actually seemed quite offended it, well he <laughs> he thought I was joking because it, yeah. apparently it's like a running joke because Rotashaw's from one of them yeah and Chris MD's from the other one yeah um, the little islands off of um England, obviously, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah. yeah, I said, I said, I said the wrong one, and it was awkward. Um, but no, very, very lucky, very uh, lovely guy. He is uh, quite a chiselled man, isn't he? Quite yeah, good, good looking lad, very yeah. good looking lad. A lot Strong of people, jewel. I really like Chris MD's videos. Mm. Uh, they're a bit of a guilty pleasure. Yeah, they yeah, are yeah. a bit of a, because it's like score score a volley I'll buy you an iPhone yeah. like, which I think is just drivel but yeah. I like him like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's very self aware at the content he makes I so. quite like that he shows the shit shots you watch yeah. F2 and everything's incredible but yeah. Chris just puts in everything and I tell you what I think you'd go a long long way to find a man that puts in more effort than he does in his videos yeah. because honestly I know that sounds like like I'm, that's bullshit because he's just volleying at a fucking trampoline or something watch <laughs> his edits mate when he used to do FIFA videos right yeah. I, this is where I'm going to sound like a, 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 I'm past it now but he used to have all these icons come up on screen yeah. and the, the amount he used to tweet like his um I think he used to tweet. It's like editing timeline. It's yeah. the trickiest it? yeah. stuff. Yeah, and he puts like weeks I and love weeks and shit like that. If I see like a juicy editing timeline, that's like porn to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's well, like, you should oh. you should uh, check his Twitter. <coughs> also, Chris MD's got a very very good Twitter. I, I like Has that. He? Yeah, he's he's very very witty on the old Twitter. Huh? No, and he and he made a good app after Chris. Um, you you were fully ingrained in the furniture now. Yeah. Um, and Tom Grennan came in. He did. Tom Grennan. Yeah. Bit. Oh, the, yeah, there's some funny moments I, I used to not like the man, did I? Yeah, you the, didn't. You didn't get on. Fun fact. Yeah. 
because we got a McDonald's before Tom Grennan and yep. you ordered a double cheese bag- bag- with bacon yeah. he ordered just a regular double cheeseburger <laughs> and I could just see there was bacon in the one he was eating and I could just see you I walking went- the exact same thing <laughs> and you're fuming yeah I went oh I didn't get any bacon in mine and then <laughs> yeah. he's just still eating his bacon burger <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's definitely mine <laughs> that, that one was a bit weird for me um, uh. because I thought it was going to be way more surreal than it was because mm. I, I've, I loved Tom Grennan for a couple of years before he even came on mm. I saw him live a few months well actually probably about a year before he came he was your Spotify most played wasn't yeah. he yeah so like I, I loved his music and then like when it's like oh this is like one of my favourite artists I was a bit like, oh, this could be crazy. Then he got here. We just ordered McDonald's, and it just felt like it was, it was just a mate with us. Yeah, and yeah. it was just like it'd gone. It was just really strange, and he was so normal. He is. That's the best way to explain it. He's it so normal. normal. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, it was a bit weird for me because my backstory with Tom Grennan is I saw him at a music festival. This is when I mean I used to be a twat, just like, just calling everyone a twat <laughs> for the sake of it. Yeah. Um, now I try and have reasons for calling people twats, but he <laughs> he, he came out and was like, oh. Um, it was like a fucking library or something. I was like, oh, I was a bit arrogant. Like, yeah. and I got all a bit patriotic over Norwich and was like, oh, you should. And, and, and we just had a bit of beef, really. Like, I tweeted saying he was arrogant. And my cousin Sonny knows Tom's manager, um, Dawkins. And Dawkins texted him and was like, why is your cousin being a prick? And <laughs> Sonny had to go, Jack, <laughs> I think you're funny. <laughs> I like your tweets. Tom Grennan's all right. He's a nice guy. So um, we made up. He invited us to his show. I met him. I felt awkward because yeah, I, I fucking bet. I'm in his dressing room before he's about to go out at um, UEA. Fucking packed out show. He's gone up to Franco Fraser and Sonny, my cousins, gone. All right, brother, how you doing? I'm there, and he's just <laughs> looked and gone. Are we all right now? And I just went, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I just felt like a kid that had been sorry. like, yeah, my dad made me apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Please can I have my ball back? I won't play in outside your garden again. How, how you just did your little impression of him mm. with the, all right, brother, mm. that is the weirdest thing about him. Because I think his music's quite indie, I'd yeah, say. Right. And then like his that. personality does not yeah. match his music yeah. at all. And his voice, Chindy? his singing voice. Chavy Indy, Chivy yeah, Indy. Yeah, it's mm. a bit, little bit strange. Mm. Like I'd, I'd think he could beat me up quite easily. And then I listen to his music and I think, what a man. <laughs> <laughs> I like as well, it's the little things as well. I don't want to just seem like we're praising like people for nothing. But sometimes in this industry, yeah. a, a little goes a long way. Um, he put his leg up on the chair and leant over to ask a question because he was so invested. Yeah. He was like, no, I want to hear that. Yeah. I want to hear. And he was asking about the podcast and stuff like that. Hadn't we just filmed the conspiracy one? And so then we yeah. were throwing some conspiracies at him and he really like dug yeah. in, didn't he? Yeah, yeah that was no, crazy. that was good. Yeah. Maybe during 2020, we can get Tom Tom back on for a conspiracy yeah, episode. I think he'd cool. like that. that. Good. Yeah. Uh, right, so we will do, um, we'll, we'll get for another couple of months and then we'll take another little break and you can come, come back after that uh, but April seemed like a month of bangers uh, a month of um, game changers because after that we did the meal deal episode oh, yeah this Fucking brilliant. one of the best things about this we've already said that it was um, completely off the cuff and we didn't have a clue what we were going to do yeah um, we were waiting for was it Vic Star and he couldn't make it on the day yeah so oh, that's right and then yeah. we had Jack Maynard coming in yeah and we were like look we've got two hours Good before Jack Maynard comes let's just get in the studio and do something yeah yeah Jack comes in and mentions the tweet I did about KFC and stuff yeah and then out of nowhere we got onto meal deals and it was gone it was like it's the I'd say that's easily the episode that people talk about more than anything 100% 100%. Why why do you think that is I think it's just so relatable so relatable yeah yeah has your meal deals changed at all since then I I don't know if you've said you have seen I've I've been a bit more um I've grown up a bit I I have (laughs) I have um I have Skip the popcorn a few times. Oh, I, I never oh, always, I never always got popcorn. Anyway, it was just the whole popcorn thing originally started because I was trying to lose weight. Yeah, and popcorn's so actually fairly crisps. good. For yeah, lower in calories, and, and it was yeah, only about yeah. eighty calories a bag. Yeah, and they're quite full. Crisps is mainly air. Yeah, and then you get a yeah. few crisps. But yeah, yeah so um, you mean I've, popcorn's I've had... mainly air? No, like in the bag of crisps, bag. it's mainly oh. air, and you get a few crisps at the bottom. Popcorn, they fill the bag quite well. Crisps should be good for you then, because it's just air. It's oxygen. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but um, yeah, I've had uh, Walker's Max a few times lately. Yeah, the beefy so, ones. Yeah, done it for you though. Yeah, oh, yeah, did it for Thought me. Thought of you with you? every bite. <laughs> yeah. Well, you didn't go paprika. 
I have had paprika. I like to put crisps Johnny's. in a sandwich though. Yeah, yeah. It gives it some texture. Yeah. No, no I, I do. Like I like ham sandwich with, but the only crisps I will have are plain. Really? That's, that's weird. No, it's nice. I don't like cheese. You can't have cheese and onion and. You can have and salt and vinegar? You can have cheese and onion and ham. I, used, very, very I used to make a sandwich. Yeah. Right? I, is this going to be a hench one? Ha. Oh. Yeah. Ham, cheese, right? In a sandwich with Thai sweet chili crisps, McCoy's. Ooh. What was that boy. like? In the. Ooh. Good. That was naughty. It was naughty. I feel like I want to try it. Yeah. 100%. I think it'd be good. So, Fucking meal deal it. wise, we then, yeah, uh, well, Summer in the City. So yeah, that was, yeah, we managed that was to do a fucking... whole hour and at least 40 minutes of that was about meal deals. 0% of that. Well, 5% of it was planned. Yeah. yeah. 95% of it was unplanned. That we, was that was probably one of the, well, it was one of the highlights of my year. Easily. Yeah. Easily, yeah. Fucking brilliant. I was terrified though because Absolutely it was like, brilliant. I have not planned anything. Like yeah. we just went out the night before. Yeah. We were all a bit hungover on the way to the to the venue. We were shitting ourselves. No one was going to be there. <laughs> yeah, we were. <laughs> Which uh, is mental again. Cause yeah, because then... no one else filled it like we did. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> we got there and they said that they couldn't. They had to stop people from coming in. Yeah, and I did notice part way through there were a few people just stood at the door watching. Yeah, yeah. which was really strange. Yeah, yeah. Uh, health and safety issues. We 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 brought back the meal deal thing quite well. We we um we we made got, a game of it. Got people to rate on yeah. rate our meal deals. We gave meal deals away, which I think. I think it's illegal. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Giving people food. Yeah. Is oh, you illegal. got to be like licensed or something. Yeah, because imagine if they went home and they got put food poison. Yeah. Oh, I'll be, oh yeah. Yeah, like, it would be fucked. Yeah. But no, so May, by the way, is a month we smashed and a month that we had loads of guests on. Okay. So I want to try and keep these brief, but we had loads. We started off with Casper Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Wears a lot of makeup, doesn't he? He does. There was some thick foundation. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nah, I'm that just wrong? saying. I don't remember. Do you know? It's an observation. No, he's tall, isn't he? Yeah, and he's a lot shy. A lot more shy than I thought he would. Mm. That was actually a weird day. It wasn't as simple as just coming to the studio, was it? No, we filmed to to for Josh Peters first. Yeah. Yeah. So we went to the YouTube studio in King's Cross. Yeah, got a picture with the YouTube sign. Yeah, yeah did the old YouTube picture. Then yeah. we sat down with them for a bit. Him, Josh Peters, and his, Max, his, G, yeah. his and, girlfriend, and, and Casper's girlfriend. Yeah. Then he came on the tube with us. Yeah. So yeah. you two got recognised. <laughs> so funny on the way what? to the studio. Did, this happen? did it? Yeah. You went, how funny would it be if someone saw me and Casper together after everyone thought we got beef and a few seconds later we saw people going, it's Jack and Casper yeah. in um, Highbury Station. <laughs> so that was that was so funny. Imagine what they thought. Imagine if like one day, like just me and Alfie Day just down the pub having a ga- Par- game of darts. In parallel universe. Just <laughs> yeah. sat in spoons together. Yeah. No, yeah. that's funny. I forgot about that. Yeah. That's and, good. Yeah, and then we came here and filmed. Uh, that, was, that was okay. Issues. We had issues with that. What yeah. went wrong? Um, just cameras? Cameras malfunctioned. Yeah. Sometimes this happens. Was that the first one that we had a camera malfunction with? No, we it, it happened last in 2018. We had uh, Josh Peters on, and it happened with him, which was really awkward because they're good mates. I've had mm, beef with both of yeah, them. Now it seems bit... like I've just pulled them on to waste their time. Yeah. But think about it. At the time, Casper was, was fairly big YouTuber. Yeah. And he would have pulled in views for us. Yeah. So there's no reason why we'd ever fuck. Like, why would we ever ever fuck up a, a, yeah. a recording? Wh- and did did. Did we release the audio? We yeah. released the audio, yeah. Yeah, so if we're releasing the audio, we've got nothing to hide. Yeah. Well, our fucking faces, the way that we say words, <laughs> yeah. you know, so... The Annis and Gibb one was probably the most oh. most I've ever felt so gutted that we didn't have the oh, Yeah, especially the as you want to keep using my fucking quote in his documentary. <laughs> yeah. oh, I know. Oh, my God. Were you there for Brilliant. that one? Yeah. You were there we'll get there. One. Yeah. So, Casper Lee, then we had um, the boys, Zach and Jay. Yeah. Have what? we skipped Jack Maynard and all of this? No, he's next. Oh, yeah. but we filmed... Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is just release date, not, okay. not when we found Are we going to say what happened with that one? That I want to save that to the end. All right. Yeah. So, so Zach and Jay... Um, Absolute lads in there. Yeah, they. I was about to say, they they're, they're cool. the, the first and only time for me, at least, um, first for all of us, where the guest brought alcohol in for us. Yeah. yeah. And we were just sat here having a few drinks with them yeah. as we did the... Episode. Cool. They're just the bloody boys, aren't they? they are. Always yeah. up to something I really cool. like them. It's going to be a big year for them. They were, we were, we were, this is completely my fuck up, but we were going to do a big fat internet quiz of the year episode. Mm. Yes. You and, you and Jordan were going to be on the team. We, Zach and Jay were booked to, to come back in. And, and um, Alex and... Nico and Milana and 
Alex, I think. Oh. Uh, but obviously I was just lazy and I didn't get it done. But now I've pledged two a week, so I've got to do it. Yes. I'd love to chat more about the boys because you know what I think of them, but we've got a lot to go through yeah. and we're only we, in I really like. Yeah, mm. they, they were just great <laughs> storytellers again. Yeah, so. they were good. And you'll find yeah, out brilliant. at the end when we do a quick roundup what happened that day. Yeah. Um, and yeah. We'll, we'll talk you through that. Uh, yeah. Jack Maynard, not much to say about Jack, just a nice guy. Just intrigued me because at the time with the I'm a Celebrity stuff, him getting kicked out, I did content on it so it was mad to be sat with him and actually asking him how he felt and blah 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 so yeah. that, that was the thing for me with from that one that's what I drew yeah. was like the, peeking behind the curtain of television <laughs> yeah. like I'm a celebrity uh, and him saying actually it's real. he was only there four days and he was bored out of his fucking mind yeah. Yeah. I was peeking behind the curtain of that and cancel culture yeah. which yeah. I really like just to see like yeah. how pathetic is that yeah. I feel like I, I in, a para- in another world if it was just me and Jack Maynard we'd get on a lot I think I genuinely think we would get on like yeah. if there wasn't it, the whole YouTube stuff around yeah it. if there weren't all this beef if I didn't like fuck up all of his mates careers <laughs> 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 no I'm joking they're still live and well um, <laughs> after that yeah. uh, this is a big episode this done very very well on YouTube Anaya Scaliger yes she's, which I was away for work again she's a character uh, yeah broke the ice really nicely by addressing my fashion didn't she? She was like, she gave me a little fashion review. Oh, I um, do you remember the moment we met her outside? I do. Are I we going to go into that? I thought I was going to fucking hate her. I did. Too. What happened? I was. I are we going there? Well, I like her. I, I, and really I, like I her. love you. I think you're great. Yeah. Right. But I'm the first impression. Initially. Yeah. We were walking. We were walking to the studio. I was out in front because I was opening the doors. Nice guy, right? And then I just hear Anais go. Oh, it smells like a hostel in here or something like that and then I so I, my, I did roll my eyes yeah. I was like fuck here we go she come in she was one of the best guys she was fucking class but that initial when I heard that I yeah. was like oh I thought my she god, was like gonna be oh, one of these. so run down yeah. like, oh yeah. my god like yeah. <laughs> this building's quite nice you just come in as a cafe area yes yeah, <laughs> her dad's no Gallagher no though. I know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's lovely I don't think Noel would come into the studio and go I might make my next fucking album <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like, but that, was, that like was a, surreal it was mm, surreal what does it smell like other than coffee that's my point so why are yeah. you slagging yeah. it off she said so, I, I think she addressed the way in which I what is it called Intro- like you greet someone yeah. as well and I just thought this she's going to be like a really stuck up I think that's why I liked her so much right because I thought she was going to be such an arrogant self-righteous self-entitled sorry um, so and so and she wasn't <laughs> and she was the complete opposite yeah and we got an answer a direct answer no politician bullshit avoiding a direct answer from the daughter of Noel Gallagher as to where Oasis get back together again or not if you don't know the answer to that go and watch it or listen to it go but yeah it. fucking that didn't, was I loved that when she said that I was like fuck mm. that's straight although yeah, didn't boy. Liam tweet a couple of days ago saying yeah. that Noel begged him. him to get it to get him back but, but I think no, Liam's no. been on the old sauce again that's what I think, <laughs> that's what I think that, allegedly yeah. <laughs> after yeah. that this is one of my preferred episodes of the year both of these guests Blew out the water for me. Daniel Sloss. So this time, you weren't I was here. away this, so this time. this is June. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is June. This is straight after an AS. Yes. Swapped you two out. You couldn't come. Yeah. And then you, and then you could. And I was really ill that day. Yeah, it was, yeah. Fucking awful. Yeah. You like Daniel. You're a fan of Daniel Sloss, weren't you? Yeah, I liked his comedy anyway. Yeah. Um, I just like how real his comedy is. Yeah. It's very in your face, but it's very, why should I care? Mm. And I, I like that where he just openly admits humour is humour. I can say what I want. If you don't like it, that's your problem, not mm-hmm. mine. Yeah. And mm. that's always been our way of humour. Mm. And having someone explain that as well as he did as well. He had complete reasoning behind what mm. he said. Yeah. And he was you can't of, argue with it. He was one of the, as you'd imagine him to be, one of the most confident people oh, to come yes. into the studio. He was somebody that I... You know when there's somebody you struggle to make laugh? Yeah. So, so, that, so some people fake laugh a little bit. Not even fake laugh, but like polite laugh. Like Sometimes laughter is like a little acknowledgement. I, yeah, acknowledgement. Yeah, yeah. I know what yeah. you said there. He didn't do that much, did he? No. It? So you would say something, he'd go... Yeah, yeah, I or what? It, it seemed a bit like you had to be dark <laughs> to make him laugh. I don't think he likes light humor. No, because the way he spoke about other comedians, he'd basically say some of the biggest comedians out there mm. aren't good. Yeah, mm. but that's again, it's all, it's all a matter of opinion yeah. anyway. Yeah, like, I, I, Michael I, McIntyre, mm. don't get it. 
Anyway, carry but that's, that's what I mean. Like, I, I really liked it. Um, I had to. I sat in your chair that week wow. um, purely because Jack whinged about a massive spot on his head, and because it'd mainly be facing Daniel, ah, he yeah, made yeah, me sit yeah, in a different yeah, camera. Yeah. You could still see the spot. Could you in the video? Where was it? So <laughs> on, on your forehead. fucking forehead, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so I sat there. It felt really. I just felt out of place being yeah. in a wrong mm, wrong seat, yeah. and I don't know why. But um, yeah, it, it was a good episode. He, he spoke about his um, sister dying, going to the funeral and making jokes about her at yeah. the funeral. So he he opened up. He wasn't yeah. he wasn't particularly scared. But I really liked the episode. I liked him. Yeah. No, good on him. Good on him. Um, Vic Star. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. I liked it. I liked that episode. Got to talk about Minecraft and that. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking, what did you say? It made me fucking die considering the guy's built his career around. You're like, it was just like, oh, what? You said oh, something about Lego, for, Lego for kids or some shit, even though that is what Lego is anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking, yeah. Oh, brilliant. I don't man. know. Brilliant. I didn't, I didn't, I liked him. Yeah. He was nice. He's so sweet. Yeah. He's really, so really sweet. nice. So friendly. Deserves everything that he's made because his work ethic is second yeah. to none not the episode for me okay it wasn't the most exciting but we did get the duck story out of it the yeah duck story which is gold I saw that on the tweets and I was like ask him about his duck and I was like alright I hope this isn't offensive yeah that, that story swat, it, that story swat. made that episode but yeah. I guess I, I also despise Minecraft so for me talking yeah. about little things like that is a bit like <laughs> Sorry. I tried to draw uh, this this might sound a little bit naughty, but I did try to draw a bit of um I wanted him to shit talk ninja a little bit. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Just went out of it was the platform. I will say a little uh, behind the curtains, which we definitely I probably shouldn't say because it makes me look like a mm. or you look like an idiot or me look like a dick. You started that episode with someone we've all been really excited to have on. I had no idea who he was. <laughs> I literally Jack said that and I went <laughs> Yeah. I am clueless who this yeah, guy yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And then you mentioned the Sidemen eyes, one of them. Yeah. I, 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 I had to think... get Vic Star to explain to me what the Sidemen was. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. I had different different times. Different times. <laughs> yeah. I like, by the way, how you went, I despise Minecraft. <laughs> how can you feel that passionately? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Because um, one of my nieces loves playing with it, see, for kids. Uh, mm. <laughs> loves playing it. But every time I go around there, she's like, play, play it with me. And I'm like, no, but then you get to a point where like I'm the uncle, I kind of have to be nice. Mm. Yeah, fine, I'll play with you. And I'm just there going, what the fuck am I doing? Do you not understand it? No, you're Build just the jump. house. You just, you just jump What's around. What's the point in that? I did 3D animation at uni. If I was going to build a house, I'd do it on a software, like oh. actual... Little nerd you are. Yeah, humble brag. Yeah. <laughs> <That's what that laughs> I went to uni. Oh, we'll yeah. go for a break there. When we come back, we've got June, July, August and all the rest of them. See you in a bit. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back. The third part of this bumper long show. Sometimes we go into these shows, we don't realise how long they're going to be. Nah. But this one is very, very long. I hope you're enjoying it, because if you're not, <laughs> we're about halfway through. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if they're not, I doubt they're still listening. Yeah, true. If you, Yeah, that's a good point, Stevie. And that's why I respect you. Josh, <laughs> Josh Berry. I really liked him. Yeah, I liked impressions him. and that. Nice. Yeah. That was good. The, the, he's massive, isn't he? Oh, tall. He's so yeah, tall. He is, yeah. yeah. I always get freak out when I see someone taller than me because I thought I was the only fucking <laughs> tall l- lanky, goggle eyed. F- what was it? Uh, they call Steve Merchant something in the office. In the extras. Let's carry on, please. <laughs> I think he was, he was the first person to technically bring a talent into the studio. Like, I know. <laughs> No. Oh. oh my no oh. What, God. because he can do a few voices? No, that's yeah. what I mean, though. Fucking no, hell. like, these other people can do things, but, like, Gervais didn't sit there and do a stand-up show for us. <laughs> I just realised we've gone through Gervais. No. We just said Gervais. He's saying that Gervais doesn't have what? talent. Oh, but my Josh God. Berry, because no. he can do a Louis Theroux impression, <laughs> is not. more fucking talented. Do Gervais, do Gervais. <laughs> No, yeah, an impression not. of Gervais is more talent than fucking bringing Gervais. No, you're not listening <laughs> at oh, all. Yeah, Gervais mate. didn't we sit are. there and do a stand-up show, and he didn't sit there and do a fucking episode of The Office for us. You just it's said he tested a joke. He tested a joke. He tested a joke. Not, tested a fucking joke. not on the oh, show. It's not a performance. Not on the show. Mate. He was the first it's person done. who performed it's his talent over. for us. He did. KSI it's didn't come over. in and punch me in the face. It's like, all over. That's what I mean. That no one else did what they do in here, bar talk. Um, some oh, you've made that so much worse than it was. For a living. Right, let's Don't move on. Don't cut any. <laughs> I, won't, I won't. I'm not going to. Mini Minter. Oh, so sweaty. Back down to earth, Mini Minter. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> he's a Leeds fan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so that, that's his character, is it? Is uh, that a personality trait, being a Leeds fan? It is to that, me. that was another one for me. It spoke about gaming a lot and stuff like that. And oh. I've never seen a man <laughs> sit on the fence more than he did. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, you could get it in his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be like, what do you think of the colour yellow? I like all colours. <laughs> Do you, do you? What's your favourite drink, Simon? I drink a lot of water. <laughs> like, like that old video of Kurt Car of Southgate. What's your favourite drink? I like to drink a lot of water. Oh. That's that's Mini Minter. Yeah, do you know I, I respect like them. from the side men. Oh, uh, we've only had we've only had a couple of it, but always wearing side men merch. Yeah, always, always repping. Yeah. Always, always repping. Always repping. Um, Bloody always repping. Oh. Bump, bumped into him at Summer in the City as well. He was nice there. Yeah. He spoke to. I mean, it's just me and you. Yeah, I chatted to him about yeah. Lee's drawing against Van mm. Nottingham Forest. I don't want to be misconstrued, though. I'm talking about these people as podcast guests. Yeah. As people, I think he's fine. Yeah. I've bumped yeah. into him numerous places. Yeah, so. yeah. And he's always had a chat with me. Like, he's yeah. all right. Like, but not the best podcast guest, because I don't think... I, I don't think you can really do a podcast if you're not going to be opinionated. Yeah, yeah. If you're not going to answer yeah. the questions that are being asked, he was he was getting a bit of backlash at, it the, was, at, at it, the time, wasn't he? Because yeah. he'd slagged off commentary channels. And then bring get, him on. Yeah, I'm a commentary channel. I'll ask you about it. And then he sort of backtracked. Mm, not backtracked, yeah. but sort of flaked. Yeah, his very, ass flapped. A bit bit oh. politiciany. Yeah, very. Oh, don't um, talk about fucking politicians. After Mini Minter, we had Ubar Butler. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Really interesting. Yeah. What a man. That one. Yeah. What a man. That was Wasn't like a... Wasn't sure if he was actually going to turn up or if a decoy was. Yeah. Because of some <laughs> yeah, of his... Still don't know to this day, to be fair. Some of his pranks online have, uh, would allude to that. That um, was like a Zack and Jay part two. Do you think? Yeah, because they both had those kind of stories where you're like, no, how did you manage that? Like, yeah. And it's quite interesting. That's another one where you can just listen. You're yeah. Like, That's great. Yeah. Great storyteller. I thought he was really cool as well. There's just yeah. something about him. Very hipster. Yeah. But very cool. And I reckon he'd probably want to shoot me for just calling him a hipster. <laughs> but I, I, there was just something about him. He's very alluring. Very alluring yeah. gentleman. Mm. I liked him. Yeah. Um, and I'd Not happily bad. have him back on the show. Yeah. He's just got to do some more <clears throat> stunts. Do some more stunts for us, Uber. And one day you, we might let you back on to this <laughs> prestigious show. That's do it, it for us, not Vice. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Um, after that, we had our friend Will JC on. Oh, yeah. Oh, this Brilliant. was the first time I ever really went. I know you're both my friends, but uh, where I was just like, yeah, we'll just get a normal bloke off the streets. He's not, he's not on the streets, but he looks like he's from the streets. Yeah. But like, we just whacked my mate on. Hey, brilliant. Yeah, and that he came about it. because we were, was that the Champions League when we organised that? And we were like, oh, you should just come on, Will. And yeah. then we booked it and he come on and we did a Would I Lie to You and I think he's one of the best guests we've ever had. Well, yeah, we, yeah, we were drinking, weren't yeah, we? We were just yeah. in spoons drinking yeah. and you're like, come on. Yeah, like, yeah. Woke up, <laughs> woke went, up the yeah. next morning, text from Will, am I still allowed on? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> So we did Would I Lie to You and Sex Stories. Yes. We did two episodes yes. of them, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, brilliant. Both, both really good. And his his losing his virginity story is one of the best. Yeah. I've actually shown so many people that. Yeah. And it's really awkward showing friends stuff because I don't want to just be like, oh, go and listen to the podcast I do. Yeah. I, I'm just like, ignore the fact that I'm there. Listen to Will's story yeah. about an unconscious what, girl yeah, and him was losing unconscious his virginity. Girl A or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Girl A and B were called one unconscious girl. <laughs> yeah. It's gold, honestly. Yeah. It is. If you get a moment, go back and, and, and watch that on YouTube. And then it's the really nuggets good. in Would I Lie to You? Yeah. Because if anyone was going to eat 140 nuggets, it's him. It's going to be him. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, both episodes I really enjoyed. It was good. And that was another one where it felt a bit like it was just us three, but mm. because it was just another friend. With a plus one. So relaxed. So, yeah. So messed about. And then that's what kind of like opened the, the floodgates to get people like Alfie on and stuff like that, mm. just to get mates on. Yeah. Yeah. Calyx. Uh, wasn't there. I was, yeah, I was present. It was good. It yeah. Was insightful. Going to open up about things. On the highlights channel, youtube.com forward slash Jack's Happy Hour, two A's and Jack's. Uh, he is our most viewed clip. Yeah. Ever. Really? 850,000 on Calyx's battle with cancer. Yeah. I wasn't too sure whether I was going to ask him the question. Obviously, it's a sensitive issue, sensitive issue to say the least. Um, but I did. Yeah, and he was very open about yeah, it. Yeah, he didn't seem fussed that you'd asked. Do you no. know what I mean? He was just very open and explained it well. Another guy that obviously I used to have beef with, um, mm. but I hadn't really reconciled it until he came. Mm. So that was awkward for me. And I've got to say now <clears throat> that he's probably one of my preferred people I've ever met off of YouTube. Yeah. We met him again at the fight, didn't we? We did. And just a, just a nice guy. Yeah. Just a, just a nice 
normal bloke, someone that again I th- I feel like I'd I'd get on with mm-hmm. or I do get on with. But For sure, yeah, uh, brought a lot of stories and was good. In August we had uh, summertime. We crossed the the barrier from friends to family, and my dad came on. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Does he listen? Yeah. No, he won't get this far in. He's got a life. Um, <laughs> oh, he was he was he was nervous. He was nervous. So he went to the pub. Yeah, I was going to say he combated those nerves, didn't he? Yeah, it was a bit embarrassing. So who did we film with whilst he was yeah, gone? Yeah. Did uh, we filmed an episode whilst he wasn't when he went yeah, to the pub? It was it was Michael Payne. Oh yeah, we had Michael Payne on. So we yeah. filmed with Michael Payne. So your dad went to, to the, the pub, pub whilst we did that. And I reckon he must have had about five or six pints. Yeah, he was drunk. When he come back, he was drunk, slurring yeah. his words. Yeah, I was just like, I wanted to, to fall into this chair because I was like, no, you're not making any sense. Yeah, and he'd go, you know what I mean? I would be like, <laughs> yeah. <"Nah." laughs> I wasn't sure if you'd upload that one. I uploaded clips of it, didn't I? Yeah, I didn't know if you'd actually go for it. <laughs> it was it was insightful in the prison side of things. Yeah, that's what I enjoyed. Yeah, yeah I did the get the side. answer to my question I've been oh, wanting to ask mate, someone for years oh my god is prison, prison boring, boring. when you actually, said that that, that was, was actually on my list for most embarrassing moments <laughs> yeah it genuinely was it was purely because he mentioned table tennis table and tennis is fucking sick yes exactly he said that you got to play table tennis every day I'd, fuck, I'd buzz off that more than going to work <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, but I think for a short period of time they played table tennis I don't think it was table okay. tennis I'd, club plus you sleep I'd over I'd be table it. tennis champion in prison so oh. can I just quickly if there's any this is so fucking random but if there are any bar owners right with a smoking area a sizable smoking area when we were out in America mm. one of the sickest places we found we found this bar and out in the smoking area there was a table tennis table wasn't it? and mm-hmm. we, had a, we had a few games if you're a bar owner stick a fucking table tennis table in your smoking area because it's sick there you go I, I imagine some, some people say. avoiding it for the fact that people would kind of be holding a weapon uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess in America it's a bit tame, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all holding so, weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Stuart Jones. Oh, that was interesting. Late, yeah. se- late, se- late September. Yeah. One of my preferred episodes. Yeah, that that right. was a real proper, proper look behind the curtain. Mm. That's not having... And those videos did well as well, didn't they? They did do really the well. and the videos. Really well. Yeah. I liked him as a person. Yeah, Obviously, nice. we randomly just happened to sit yeah. next to him at the KSI Logan fight. Yeah. That was brilliant. That was, uh, And... Uh, I know what oh, I told the story on the on the Christmas podcast, you did, didn't yeah. I? So we'll we'll, we'll skate yeah. over that. Uh, somebody that we are definitely going to have back on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's I think interesting, interesting yeah, stories, and something no one would ever know without him telling it. I got a little bit told off for putting the title oh, yeah. as KSI's manager. <clears throat> KSI's manager messes me and went, <laughs> "He's not KSI's manager. I am." <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, yeah. and then asked me to change it so I had to do that. Um after this, I think it's all been a bit positive. It's all been a bit nice. I'm not going to moan about Ooh. this woman at all because I think she is right. a lovely I know where person. This is going. The episode, the episode was a bit naff. Ellen O'Neill. Oh. Yeah. I've never <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was very Deep hard to have it was more like us three were talking because she couldn't say yes to anything because she hasn't ever watched anything. She was, we, the, tr- she was the true crime queen. Yeah, Have, we, we base a lot of our true crime knowledge on the Netflix documentaries, which is, makes perfect fucking sense. It's yeah. a great source for great true crime. She didn't watch any Netflix. Yeah. So kind of... Have you seen Making a Murderer? Nope. Do you know much about Maddie McCann? Maddie who? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? How do you not... That's slander. <laughs> to, to save that, uh, I'll say yeah. her episode itself wasn't great, but yeah. the story she told us for Happy Hour Ween were incredible. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, though, those part that, of it, yeah. if it was just that, yeah. I would, it would have been one of my favourite things. Mm, yeah. Because just being able to listen to those stories, like, wow. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, like yeah. watching a Netflix yeah, documentary. Yeah, it's just why I, I said earlier, if we can, mm. clip them up, because yeah. they're good. Clip but I will up. say, she was really lovely. Oh, yeah. She, was oh, really yeah. she did a voice th- message, a video message from her sister. Uh, I, I think, that, I think she was a bit nervous, but I think she was, she was lovely. And... Um, no, I appreciate anyone giving up their time to come on the podcast. Yeah. But, but when we do one of these look backs, we want to be honest, we want to say. And uh, th- this this shows that we fairly are in tune with our audience because I still usually like I-, I-, I perhaps would find a way of just uploading a clip from that. Mm. I uploaded the whole thing because I know people love love Eleanor. Yeah. And people were replying saying this this isn't the best thing it yeah. could have been. So yeah. so I think they they do get it. But um yeah, I just think nerves overtook it there. Yeah. Uh, October, Anderson Gibb. 
Oh, his that, fucking energy was like nothing I'd ever fucking experienced before in my life. It was crazy. I don't know how he wasn't pouring sweat by the time he yeah. left it. Yeah. He, I, I had, well, he's from Dubai. Ah. Uh, do they hot, jump around like that all the time? Humid. Nice art there. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah. I had so much adrenaline after that. Mm. Fucking brilliant. Me and you, when they left, you walked him out and Jordan and I were just going, what on Whoa, earth just happened? Yeah. It was like a, it was it was like a, a whirlwind. whirlwind. Yeah, it literally 100%. walked in, threw everything at the mic and yeah. then left. Yeah, and we was yeah, like, yeah. what? It was fucking brilliant. He's not from Dubai, actually. He's from Saudi Arabia. Ah. I think he grew up in Dubai. Ah, I don't right. know. Fair but enough. no, uh, brilliant guest. Yes. Fantastic. Really good. Uh, Perfect and, timing for that episode as well. Yeah. Didn't all go to plan for what he was saying. No. It has now eventually, but there's not really much of a buzz around it. No. Yeah. If it had happened when they wanted it to, I think even Jake Paul should have taken that opportunity because mm. he's fucked it as well, really. Mm. But um, at least we got in there. Technically, yeah. we got him at the perfect yeah. time for it. And I think if he beats Jake Paul, he'll come back on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he might even come back on if he loses yeah, you but we'll have to see um, right then after we, we did Halloween Halloween specials and all of that stuff um, November didn't really no bit of a quiet one didn't really upload we, we just, were in America weren't we yeah and, and we came back and we sp- did our America stories yeah. we spoke about the fight and stuff not really much to go over there December two bangers well two fairly big episodes Peter Blexley oh yeah what a man. Fucking unbelievable, that episode. I love the that The way that he can fucking portray a story, tell the story, <clears throat> how engaging he is. It's fucking unreal. And and like, it, it, it show, I think it also shows the strength of this this podcast as well. The fact that, you know, like when we had Ellen and Neil on, my sister was buzzing. When we had Peter Blexley on, my father, who turns 55 this year, was fucking buzzing. He was like, oh, listen to him on radio too. You know what I mean? That's like, <laughs> yeah. So the, the range there is fucking brilliant. I think, I think our podcast has three <clears throat> kind of styles. We've got this, where it's just us three, we do what we want. Yeah. We've got the guests that will technically, as bad as it sounds, will pull in views for us. Mm-hmm. So we've got our KSIs, we've got our Gervaises. Mm-hmm. Um, and That's then, mental even, that as a sentence. Yeah. Like we've, yeah. Got our KSI, <laughs> we've got yeah. our Gervaises. Get who we want. Yeah. Um, and then we get the guest who might not necessarily pull in the views from their name. You yeah. might get a couple of, but like, how often is your dad going to go, oh, no, he's no, randomly no, on a podcast, mean. let's yeah, listen yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah, no, yeah. 100%. But the story alone is enough. That's the kind that someone will go, Oh, listen to this and show their mate who yeah. might not have heard of Happy yeah. Hour. Yeah, it's 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 like you 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 said to me before. Um, uh, oh, there's this there's this fucking uh, clip from Joe Rogan podcast where this guy, the deep sea diver guy. Mm. You know, it's like you're not telling me who the guy is. You're telling me about this story, and yeah. that's what Peter Blexley brought. He brought stories mm. that people could do that. Like fucking hell, you know, they could go. Oh, what about this drug bug? Thing on happy hour look at this yeah you know? and that's 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 what's special and right? that's something Brilliant. that i want to try and make happen more in yeah. 2020 stories. people with stories yes well one of the guests that uh, actually let us down uh we yeah. had two didn't we we had corbin as, <sighs> as we've gone over yeah. and, and 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 we had another guest no um, razor smith no razor smith yeah uh, it's yeah. a shame man because it would have been a good episode it would have been a good so episode what was what was he was he a bank robber or yeah he was a bank robber and he got sentenced to i think eight he was in and out of prison for eight 30 sentences. years yeah jesus and every fa- time he got out he'd go straight back in the, right. the, the fact that he's called razor smith is enough to <laughs> yeah. come and have your story yeah, yeah, yeah. um no, so sure. so yeah and he just he just didn't turn up which yeah. is a shame um i'd like to have but, him on one yeah. day but I think that's a good balance for the podcast as well yeah. for the listeners mm. to to get these what they love when it's just yeah. us three then yeah. you get the the big celebrities or big it's comedians or anything like that, and then the storytellers mm. all Let, three of those makes yeah. for it it doesn't matter that they're not all the same mm. because we're all the same it doesn't yeah. matter we can add the comedy and then we can get the serious stories let yeah. us know though and if you don't follow us on Twitter follow us at, um, at Jack's Happy Hour two A's and Jack's always and uh, yeah let us know because we're active on there quite a bit um, and we'll probably respond to that more so than, than DMs although the DMs are always always welcomed uh, and then the final episode of the year Steve you weren't here no recently the last episode happy hour Christmas special yes dark time in my life <laughs> <laughs> you oh, I explained dear. this outside yeah. but Jack watching him as a friend mm, yeah. you looked fucking vile you could tell that you still <laughs> looked Jesus. no because it was not hung over that was not hung over you were still <laughs> smashed that you weren't normal no i i i hadn't had any, i hadn't had any sleep and it looked like you'd still been drinking on the way up i, I did yeah there we go yeah. there was no i went yeah. to a christmas party got on the train <laughs> it was 
it was like nine in the morning, yeah. ten in the morning, and uh, I was like, right, who's gonna have a few cans? And <laughs> Joel and Alfie are like, it's ten in the morning, mate. <laughs> yeah. And Will, because he'd been with me, was all like all over the place. He bought a bottle of vodka. Yeah, yeah. So I just poured some vodka, started drinking, oh, come to the studio. I was specifically sober just in case yeah. it was required. I just felt terrible. And then I was like editing it. I, 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 let's just say I had to edit that one heavily. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny yeah. though, because when we started, I was saying to Robbie, I was like, I, I was saying to everyone, because we did a secret Santa and I didn't wrap up my present. <laughs> I just didn't. So it was like, I ruined the whole game. And I was saying to everyone, I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm probably not going to be able to speak properly. Like if I, if I fuck it up, we'll have to retake it. And I went, right, three, two, one. Hello guys and welcome. Oh, <laughs> and just, sorry. And in that moment, I was just like, yeah. this is not going to go How well. How did you drag yourself here? You have found very minimal reasons to just not come sometimes. Because I had five other... Oh, yeah. so you had no choice. Five yeah. other people. Let yeah. him just me and Jordan down, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I could have, ju- I could have just... I, I thought... You were going to off. You may have been off at some at one point, yeah. Really? Even when we fucking got here, I thought you might pull the plug on this. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, oh, so, so, so that episode, I don't look back fondly. Before we go, we've got a few little yeah. awards to go right. through. Here we, we go. We, 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 we won't necessarily delve into this too much. I'll quickly state, uh, Jack asked me to think of one thing on the way here. Then he said his signal went, so I actually don't know what he's about to ask me. So I'm going to have to just <laughs> make it. him up as I go. Right. Okay. Uh, what's your top five episodes? Top five episodes in any particular order? No, I want an order. You want an order? I want, I want in at uh, five, in at four. Okay. In at five. Okay. In at five, we have Robbie Knox. The first one. The first one, yeah. yeah where he talks about his, having his balls cut That's off. the one. Loved good, it. That's good. the day I met Robbie. Love to see it. No, you don't look back after that. You don't. <laughs> Your life's you don't. changed. Once you meet Robbie Knox... It's like you Nothing's walk around with the gold. Same. You walk around with the golden glow after that. I forever. actually, I actually get excited when I do the bins now. Yeah, so it makes yeah. me think of Robbie. <laughs> there you go. Am I going through all of them? Yeah. Right. Four. In at number four, I've grouped these. Yeah. <laughs> meal deal conspiracy ghosts urban legends. Oh, you put meal deal in there, did you? Yeah, because it's us four, three, fair three. enough. That's three. Just, just. Lozzy was obviously on the urban legends. So yeah. they're like the classics. Of yeah. Us. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's do good. What I mean, uh, okay. In at number. three. 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 I've, yeah, in at number three. Yeah. But Lawrence two. Oh, the second time Lawrence was on. Yeah. That was the Halloween y kind of one, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. That was indeed. In at number two, Anison Gibb brought the energy. In at number one, Peter Blexley. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um I will just go through a few of mine. Yeah, go. In at number five, Stuart Jones. Nice. Brought a new angle. I liked it. In at number four, Daniel Sloss. No. Feel like I learned a lot. By the way, I just want to say that I'm excluding Ricky Gervais from this. Okay. Because it's just it's Ricky Gervais, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> in at number three, Calix. Cool. I liked um, his his chat about Mr. Beast and hearing behind the scenes to that. Number two, I grouped them together as well. Ghost stories, urban legends, conspiracy episodes. Sick. And number one, Peter Blexley. Hey. Yeah, so we're yeah. the same on that. Are we going to get a hat trick of got Blexley? My f- yeah, my five. Um, in at number five, I've grouped these as conspiracy, would I lie to you, all yeah. those kind of ones. Hypothetical questions with Robbie Knox. I've put that in there because I love that episode. Do you? You weren't there oh, where you couldn't there, make yeah. it. That, I, was, I, that I, was the day you did Daniel Sloss, I believe. Yeah. I, I don't think it was a particular stat, stand. It, the reason I really like that episode is because I constantly crack up at him throwing acid at me. Oh, right. That yeah. one moment just cracks me up. Yeah. Um, so it's in the same kind of category as all those, um, yeah. obviously urban legends and all those. Yeah. Number four, I've actually separated it, Meal Deal. Nice. Right. I had to yeah. put it separate yeah. just because it's that standout episode of Just Us 3. Yeah. Three, Daniel Sloss. Mm-hmm. So similar. Nice. Two, I've actually put Gervais mm-hmm. because okay. how could I not? Mm-hmm. I understand why you wouldn't. But yeah. number one, take a guess. Peter Blexley. Blexley. Yeah. Blexley's at the top. As brilliant. if Blexley's netted the fucking hat trick right at the 90th minute. Yes. Well. <laughs> right at the Literally. 90th minute. Fucking brilliant. Jesus Christ. I feel like the ghost stories, the urban legends, they were like 2-0 two nil, two nil up with like three, yeah, yeah. three minutes of out of time. Blexley's come on. Three bullet headers. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute class there from Blexley. That must mean we're going to get him on again. Um, we're going to go for a few awkward moments. Yeah. Um, we alluded to this at the start. Yeah. 
True, Geordie. Uh, as soon yeah. as soon as you text me that, I wrote it so quickly, and then you, yeah, you know what I'm going to say. Yeah. I, with, I even on the train, I even said, I was like, Stevie's one's got to be Brian, yeah. surely. Yeah. We've, we've mentioned it a few times before. No one's, uh, we haven't gone fully into detail with it, but it we seemed like he hated you from yes. the start. <laughs> so this is what I said. Second time round with uh, Brian, loved the guy, thought he was really nice, and he seemed to get on with me a bit he tolerated you first time <laughs> first time oh my god I thought the guy hated me even once he <laughs> even once he left I was like what the fuck have I done to him and um, so we get here and we've mentioned a few times I set up all the cameras and stuff yeah. so he was sat in here in the studio talking to Jack and he just came in and sat down so he sat in my chair and um <laughs> He's a big man. He is. He's, <laughs> he's got, fucking yeah, he, massive. He so um, I am setting everything up. I think you were then talking to someone mm-hmm. and he shouted out, which obviously well, we already thought he was having a bit of a bad day. He shouted out something like, oh, hurry the fuck up. I haven't got all day. So I was like, okay, this isn't going to go well. Um, I think he was in jest because I, I, I think he went, hurry the fuck up, you cunt. Lol. But I was, yeah. all, <laughs> I was yeah. a bit like, oh, okay, like, yeah. I, didn't know, I didn't know the guy. Um, I set everything up. I come in and I think you said to him, you're like, oh, if you just go there, that's the guest chair. He just refused point blank. He was <laughs> like, no, nah, I like this chair. And we were like, <laughs> oh, we laughed chairs. a bit. We thought he was joking. I went, that's Stevie's chair. And then he was like, can't he just sit somewhere else? And I was like, yep, <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> so I sit somewhere else. The one thing I will then give him is that he followed me on Twitter straight afterwards and then commented uh, on my Instagram about stealing my chair. Did he? Yeah. So what I, did I, he say? Uh, oh, I'm not, I'll find it and yeah. I'll find it whilst you're talking. Oh. Um, but yeah, it was so, so uncomfortable it for me. Was. It's this yeah. beast, 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 beast of a man. And I'm just like, yes, just sir. Squashing you like a little bug. Yeah, it literally was. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know if he's trying to just mark his territory, like I'm the king of podcasts or mm. like... For me, it was like, I don't know this guy. I've, yeah. As I said, I don't really watch YouTube, so I didn't know much of him by what you've said and what other friends have said about him. Mm. Um, everyone seemed to really like him, and I was just like, he fucking hates me. He doesn't yeah. hate you. And the second time round, he was so nice. Mm. So I don't know if it's just a bad day or whether it was all jokes. I just couldn't read it. Um, yeah. It felt a bit more jokey when he commented on Instagram, but... I, yeah, that's the most uncomfortable I think I'll let's, ever feel in this studio. Let's put it down to a bad day. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever feel that uncomfortable again in here. <laughs> what's, your, what's your go? Mine was when Anais Gallagher returned and she called me an attention seeker <laughs> when I didn't... Re- I said, like, oh, I've got a phobia, but I, I'm not going to say what it is. And I'll say what it is now and the reason why I didn't say it. Not many people know this. I think I've told you before. I have this really weird... I wouldn't call it a phobia. I just heavily, heavily dislike gold jewellery I can't I don't like looking at it I don't like touching it I don't really like being that's near weird, it that's that's exactly the same as Joel isn't it no I think you've mistaken this twice no because he said me. He, no he said it the other day oh did he yeah he said it, it. Yeah. oh well anyway yeah. I've, I've had this for fucking since I can remember I don't yeah. know when it stemmed from anyway and she was obviously wearing it and I didn't know if her banter would be like if I said oh you know it's this if she'd like launch it at me or yeah. you know so, so I then said oh, I, I bottled on saying what it was and she called me a fucking attention seeker in quite a vicious tone. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Yeah. Cool. That, 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 that was my most embarrassing moment. I, I think. think I spoke to you about that episode afterwards, Jack. Yeah. And said that she made me a bit uncomfortable. That was the first time I met her. Yeah. Mm. And you guys had both said how much you loved her. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because she got on with you guys so well, but I came into a situation where I didn't know her, but she acted like she was part of the group. Yeah. And we're just like how you guys abuse me, but it's a thing. Yeah. No other guest would do that. And she yeah. came in and would. And yeah. I was a bit like, I don't know you. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't just sit how here and How dare say, you tell me to kill myself? <laughs> These two. <laughs> but, but, that, that's what I mean though. But you're friends. Like, oh, yeah. if, oh any, thanks, if anyone else came in here and did that, I'd be like, what the I fuck? Know what you mean. Yeah. Like, I know what you mean. That was another bit of a Brian situation. I was like, what is happening? Why is this person so <laughs> harsh to me for no yeah. reason? Yeah. Yeah. You guys have reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Fair uh, enough. What about so, yours then? Mine wouldn't be... So my thing's not that embarrassing because the guy was pretty cool about it. Right. I'm, I'm scooting over the Christmas stuff. I was going to say, please get over it. Like, yeah. Go move on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we all make mistakes. Oh, this my second thing would have my thing would have been the uh, calling uh, Tom Grennan's single completely <laughs> wrong. 
When yeah. I went, oh, we all oh, like, yeah. I've been... I've, Something you've been looking for so, rather than found. Someone, someone, someone I've been looking yeah. for. Someone I've been and looking I, for. I, just, I also like when you listed a couple of songs of his that he liked and he was like, yeah, I didn't write those yeah. ones. So oh, I've, yeah. And, and then I named one and he went, I hate that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. And the, the songs I named as well are ones that weren't even on his album. Yeah. So I was like, they are like, a couple of my favourites. And he's like, I hate that. I wish I didn't release that. <laughs> like, Cheers, mate. Brilliant. So I think based on that, him being pretty cool about it, my most awkward moment, it's not something I've done, but right. how I felt awkward in this room is when Stuart Jones had to redo his oh. redo his intro four times because the four cameras kept... Times. No, it was this. Yeah. It was the sound thing kept cutting out at four minutes. So yeah. I, I'm staring at the sound thing. I can see it's an hour and 41 to us right now, recording time. Yeah. Um, Stuart Jones... It got he he came in. We did the intro. He's introduced himself. Done a lovely uh, introduction. Lasted about three minutes long. Got to four minutes. I can see the sounds froze. Yeah. So Stevie has to stop the podcast. Horrible. Go out and reset it. We sit back down. I go. It's the first time I've met this man as well, Stuart. Sorry about that, mate. Um, we just have to go from the top, please. He does it again. The sound freezes. I'm like, for fuck's sake, mate, sorry, yeah. sorry. Go out, we reset it again a third time, come back in, and this is the funniest moment because Stuart Jones is explaining, like, doing the intro. He must have been thinking, what the fuck am I doing? I'm yeah. to say this again. And me, me and you two aren't listening to a no, fucking we're word he's staring. saying. We're just staring at it because we had to wait for it to get past four, four minutes because that was when it kept freezing. Yeah. So we're going, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then there's that short like intake of breath yeah. as it gets to three fifty nine. Yeah. Four four oh one. Oh brilliant. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> to be fair, the weird thing about that is that I went out um to make make it work the final time, I went and asked why it kept happening and they said, Oh, so it's been doing that, but we don't know why. But if you unplug the mouse, it won't yeah. happen. Like, Who in their yeah. right mind would go? Unplug the mouse. Take the mouse out yeah, of my yeah. work now. But, but the funny thing about that is one of them has figured that out. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> How's that work? Fucking man. Oh, there we go. I think we'll leave it there. It's been a it's been a been a long one. It's quite hot in here. Been a good year though. Yeah, 2019. Here's to another 2020. Thanks again, Stevie, for the another uh, 2020. <laughs> oh, sorry. Another good. Yeah, another I know good you meant. Year. <laughs> another good. Yeah. That's fucking well impressive. Thanks for the shut the box. Thanks. I like wow. it. It's really good. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys next week because because yeah, we're doing two a week yeah. we're doing two a week and next week guess who we got on i can't blue van man i'm yeah, actually really pissed off boy. why i'm not here oh shit i'm in malta oh I'm i mean i'm not I pissed am. off that i'm in malta but <laughs> yeah don't worry dave dudley's here <laughs> <laughs> see you next week guys and stick around for happy half hour 